Hello, welcome back to my boys Koi. Another day and more pond building going on as usual. We've got the bad weather coming in. Um, so I think everyone's aware of this. We've got really cold weather coming in in the next couple of days. They're expecting six inches of snow where I am in North Wales. They reckon we're gonna have here sleet and hail for days. It's gonna be really icy and cold and miserable. And I've got a load of fish coming from Japan on Thursday. It's now Tuesday. Uh, I've got wood coming today to build these ponds, which was meant to be in here yesterday and never come. I've got a load of feather edge at the top, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to feather edge all around them gaps and close that in as much as possible. I've got the sleepers and I've got the 4v2 coming to build this up, and we're going to try and get this built as much as humanly possible before this cold weather comes in. I'm going to try and get a bit of a roof on this, try and get it nice and close as much as I, uh, as I physically can. This plastic sheet in. Use grey, I haven't had it in since before Christmas. I'm gonna have to look somewhere else because ideally I could do with this being the whole thing covered. I don't know whether I'm gonna get that done before this weekend, but I'm pretty much sure I know I'm not gonna get it done, even totally honest. But I need to do as much as I can to try and get it ready for this cold weather because the tow side do not like it. Even with the heaters, the heaters start struggling to keep the water warm when you've got ice and snow everywhere. So I've run out of feather edge, like standard what I always do, run out of everything, but we got right from here now, right the way around, there was a little bit of a gap where that piece of wood's not safe, but it's not the end of the world, um, and then there's a little bit of a gap in the end, need to block up because the 4v2 comes out on a bit of an angle. Um, you know, I'm not a builder, I just, I just crack on and get it done, but that corner now, the wind rips across that field, and we've got a lot more protection here. Uh, I've just knocked all that into the pond with us pushing myself round the back to get that bit done. So I've say ran out of feather edge, but that whole corner, and you can feel the difference just when you're standing here and you're not getting absolutely battered by the cold bit of wind, you can feel the difference. So now that's done, you just need to work on the next bit, which is um, covering some of the ponds. And I'm still waiting for me wood, he said he's not going to be here till 2 o'clock and I've got to pick the baby up at half 2. So that's a nightmare, but we're just going to keep getting on and get it done so this is an absolutely stunning Momotaro Kahaku 42 centimeter Nisai look at the body shape to it how deep the Benny is really really nice fish lovely pattern to it got that nice big fish pattern but a bit more character than like a big one step really nice fish good quality um, So for those who don't know, I do raffles in the, um, on myboyskoi.com and we draw them live on YouTube every Sunday evening, uh, live on Koi Kichi Auctions, Koi Crazy Auctions. And I think I've been holding back on this one because I wanted to sort of grow it on a bit and, and see it develop a bit more because I think it's got a, a few really good qualities to it. It does need to progress a little bit more. Um, but it is there, it's got all the attributes, everything's going for it, nice big head, nice body shape, lovely pattern, lovely deep benny. Very nice fish, and I think in time it's just going to keep getting better. So I've decided I'm going to put it on the auction, which is a bit of a heavy heart to be honest, because I really wanted to keep this one for a little while longer. But I want some nice fish for the auctions. So this is going to go on to myboyskui.com. As an auction fish, and it'll get drawn on the nearest Sunday to the raffle sell and sell an ounce of four pound a ticket. So it works up four hundred pound on the fish, which is really not bad at all. To be honest, it's it's quite low money for what this is. This should probably be going around the six to seven hundred pound mark. What we do like to do here, good prices with everything we do here at my boys guy. We try and keep prices low and fair as much as humanly possible. There's a lot of new subscribers and I thought I'll show you the original plan for my boys Koi and which is now becoming the future plan. So this pond, as you see in my last video, um, is underway. We're going to get this built. Uh, that pump again is playing up. Yet again, I've fixed it so many times. I bought a new pump, I was going to put it on and it was working for ages and it was fantastic. And now it's been open. Does my head in, but I'm gonna, I am going to replace that pump now because no matter how many times I fix it, no matter how long it works for, it always starts doing that surge thing. It's a pain in the ass. So this pond has another UV on it for months and months. Fish are fine in there. UV's gonna go back on this week. Behind me here, I started doing this rossery throughout the summer. 
I'm going to carry this on. This is essentially going to be this whole bank. It's going to be a big slate, wood chip, aces and plants. Right the way up. I am going to get round to it. Moving just a slate that I moved here. Took a lot, lot of work and, and it was surprising. Uh, so I saw how much time I actually took moving all that slate and finding it. Because I find it all around the property. There's loads of it. Um, little 10 pond over there. That's going to get moved. It's going to be a big pond there. Big pond there. This one's going to get enclosed fully. This is all going to be enclosed here. This face at the back, we're going to level that off and we're going to build more ponds back there. And then that's us. That, that is really going to be us for the, for the time being. Uh, because we're, we're, there's no space really. I haven't actually shown the property properly, but so behind the house, there's the house. Behind that, there's another massive garden. And the agreement was when we moved the out that I was never going to touch that side of the house. Becky and the baby and the, the ducks and whatever else goes on back there. That's it, and there's like a little woodland. We've got our own little woodland. It's only small, but it is nice. Um, so that's all nice up there. And then up this bit here, up the top here, this is like a little car park area with the big shed. So you can get about six or seven cars in there. So again, I don't want to take that space because that's like, you know, people coming and whatever. There's no path on the lane here, so it's only on our driveway. So it's down here is my only really option to build more ponds. Um, that's uh, the greenhouse. I've wanted that gone forever and we, we ended up having a bit of an argument again the other day because I still want it gone and she doesn't. But it is all smashed and old and the door doesn't open properly and it's just whatever. Um, and then obviously in this bit here, this is where the ponds are so you don't really see it from this and you don't see it from the other one. So yeah, th there's a few more jobs to get on with, yeah. But trying to maximise the pond space. I need big ponds as well as small ponds. The small ponds are great for buying and selling fish. But I want to grow fish. There's a hobby there as well. There's a passion. So I, I enjoy growing fish. Um, so this is where these ponds. So where this one is going to be a, a nice decent sized one here. This one as well. Which we worked on yesterday. It's looking really good now. So we're going to get that finished. And then we're going to get that one here enclosed. Build maybe another one or two at the back. And then that's it. So... I don't know what I'm going to do then. I have found a bit of land. I've been speaking to the landowner, and he's a great fella. And he's offered me the, he's offered me a massive plot, so two acres. I'm just trying to make the decision whether it's the right thing to do for the water right now. It's just not enough hours in the day. I work, I work quite hard as it is, and to take on two acres of land and the maintenance and building on that, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. Me, me head, my heart says yeah. Me head saying. Can we manage it? I don't know. We are signing employee staff as well, so we're actively looking for members of staff, which seems harder than you'd think. Um, we need like internet, internet based person to do the e-commerce side of the business, which is the dry goods and the marketing and all that type of stuff. And then, then we need like farmhands to actually help working on this, especially if we do end up getting the land and we, we go for that, that, make that decision because then we're going to need like two people working there because I, I obviously am going to be working here and other jobs and marketing and myself and advertising and YouTube and everything else. Um, so there's, we're after about like two to three members of staff at the moment. Hopefully escalating that and go up to maybe five or six members of staff at the end of the year. We employed our first person last week and he joined the My Boys Coy team last week, which was good. Um, so yeah, I'm just sort of putting my thoughts on camera, if I'm honest. I'm just sort of talking out loud. But I thought, you know, you might be interested, you might know someone, you might live local, you might want a job, I don't know. I thought I'd just say it. But anyway, I'm going to find something else to do. I'll get, catch you back soon. So I also like coming and sitting in here as well, and the tortoises, they, they were a nice little addition. Um, just trying to see how they go, just trying to see if they're bonded together. Quite hard to tell with tortoises, they don't do a whole lot, but... They yeah, are nice to, uh, to be around. We've got a nice little heater under, under that area there, so you can go in there and that that is really warm under there at the night time. And then they've got the heat bulb here. Um, but again, I'm working on this, working on this shed. I want this to be nice as well. I want this to sort of be very fiend out. Um, which is just on the list, because right now it's an actual shed as well behind me here, yeah, where you just can't see. There's a swimmer, there's a jet wash. And all kinds of just stuff so that all needs sorting out as well but uh, I think the tortoises are a nice little addition sort of chasing that dream of what I want it to be and I love the idea of it, of it being sort of like almost like a little mini zoo where you come along and you see the animals and whatever else but it's it's a big expense it's a long time off so 
maybe one day, who knows, but for right now, I'm just going to sit and chill with the horses. I thought I'd show this because I've never actually shown this before and I thought people might be interested in this. Um, this is like the little woodland bit that's at the side of the house. So it's, say woodland, it's just trees. I don't know if woodland's the right word because it's hardly a woods, but it goes on. It's massive, like massively long, but it's not very wide. There's the lane and there's the garden. So it's not very long, but it goes on right down. Let's see how far we can get. I really want to build my here tree house and stuff like that. Um, when he gets a bit bigger, he's just over two now. So I think as he gets a bit bigger, he really enjoy like, being able to explore. And but yeah, you know, sort of blocked off there because all that needs cutting back. But that just carries on for quite a day, quite a distance there. It'd be a great little den for the baby. So yeah, just for the show this anyway. I've always got my headphones on as well. By the way, for those not know. But one thing I will say about moving. To like Wales from Liverpool, you don't you don't appreciate how quiet and how nice it is not having a day to day stress of a city. You don't I don't think you realise how stressful the likes of a city is until you end up coming somewhere like this and then it's just calm and everything slows down. I'm at under mile an hour, but it's nice to be around people that aren't at under mile an hour. Um yeah, just a nice little observation. Let's see if you can these are can you see them? I don't know if you've seen that then, I can't see. But uh, yeah, they're the sold ones. So these are the sold Tosai from the website. I'm not sure whether you can see them. I'm just tipping the camera. I don't know what you can see. Um, a lot of these in here are also sold. These ones I videoed the other week. A lot of Goshki, uh, Kawakami Goshki, some Hoshikai fish in there, uh, Kobayashi Shiro. They're nice. Well anyway, I feel like I've, uh, I haven't got a whole lot more to show you or do, I'm just pottering around and waiting for me wood. It's only 12 o'clock, me wood doesn't get here till 2. I'm at a loss, but that look, that's looking good. And I, uh, I'm going to crack on anyway, so if I've got anything else, I might come back. But if not, please hit the like, please subscribe and catch you all next time.